The Import Employees page is found by clicking on the Payroll Settings tab, which can be found here or here. It allows you to import employee data from a range of sources. If you click on the drop down arrow, you'll be able to select from a range of options. The first option, Standard Format File, means that you'll be able to select an Excel or CSV file from your computer. All of these other options will require a different process depending on the selection. For example, you'll need to enable the connection for zero, but for Wage Easy, you'll need to import a CSV or Excel file. Selecting the Automatically Create Missing Locations checkbox means that any location names listed in the primary location and locations column in the import that are not already set up in the system will automatically be created. If this setting is not selected, there will be an import error if there are location names contained in the import that are not already created in the system. In order to bring in the actual import file across, you can select the file via this button here or simply drag and drop. We'll come back to the import process in a moment. I just want to point out to the right of the page, we have the employee list button. Clicking on this will take you to the employee list page. This lists all active employees by default. However, you can show terminated employees by checking this box here. If we go back to the import employees page, You'll also notice the export button. This allows you to export a template and you can choose whether to export the template with active employees, a template with employee data which includes terminated employees as well, or select an empty template. This is a handy process to do before an import as you'll have the correct template in which to follow in terms of what employee information is required. We'll go back to the Import Employees page and take a look at the import process. In this case, I'm choosing a standard format file upload, so I'm going to click the Select File option here. Once you click that, you'll be directed to select a file from your computer. And once you've selected the file, it will be listed there next to where it says Upload File. From here, you just need to select the Confirm Upload button. If there are any errors in the import, such as this example here, the system will show the errors and it's quite specific in terms of what line the error appears on and what the actual error is. You'll need to make the required changes to the import file, save the file again before coming back and importing that file. So once again, once you fix the file up, you can select import more employees and go ahead and select your file. I'm also going to tick the automatically create missing locations box so that the system will automatically add any location that doesn't exist already in the system. Once you've got the fixed file ready to go, click confirm upload. You may see this scenario where the import is partly successful. This means that one employee out of three employees that I'm trying to import has not been imported at all and the error is because of bank account details. Another employee, in this case Penny Wilson, was created, however it's just letting you know that a special purpose TFN has been provided. And the third employee, Ann Burgess, has been successfully updated. Now in this scenario I can choose to fix up the data import file and re-upload those details for the employee that didn't come across. And for the employee Penny Wilson, if I need to change her tax file number, I can go directly into her employee file and fix the TFN from there. I'm gonna go ahead and fix up the import file so that my employee that didn't come through works. So I fix the file now and once again, I'll select to import more employees. I'll go ahead and create missing locations and I'll select my file. I'll confirm the upload. And this is the third option that you will see, import successful. So this is confirming that there was a total of three employees 
imported. These warnings in orange hasn't prevented the employees from being able to be imported. However, it's just pointing it out so that I can change it when needed. From here, you can navigate to the employee list to see these newly added employees and you can click on their name in order to be taken to their employee file. That's it for the import employees page.